the addition of the new androgen signaling uh, drugs that, that inhibit the androgen signaling have altered our understanding of prostate cancer and have linked androgen signaling throughout the natural history of this disease unlike before. And this now demands an understanding of physicians how to optimize the use of those agents in combination with chemotherapy, which is a standard approach. So if you look now in an armamentarium, we have bone targeted therapies, which are radiopharmaceuticals, immunotherapies, chemotherapies, and drugs that block androgen signaling in stages that we did not think patients would benefit from it before. The complexity is that in some settings that these may enhance each other's, in other settings they may negatively affect each other's. So understanding the interaction of these and creating a handbook so physicians can apply these is what the sense of urgency is. So huge excitement in prostate cancer, things have changed dramatically and pressure has been applied on the academic community to develop these handbooks and pressure is going to be applied on the practicing community to use these widely, wisely and learn how to use them.